Pastor Greg with you this morning. This is our final week in the book of Hebrews and there's quite a lot packed in to chapters 11 and 12 and we will just be referring to chapter 10 today, one particular verse, and then we'll be on to chapters 11 and 12 after that. I'm not going to go over the context. I think I've done that many, many, many times, remembering that these were people for whom the imagery of the temple, the imagery of the the uh, the temple cult was absolutely paramount. This is how they'd lived most of their lives. And so once again, we come back to that image. And I want to share with you uh, just a few verses from Hebrews chapter 10. That is Hebrews uh, 10. Verses 19 to 25. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain, that is his body, and since we have a great high priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up or meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as we see the day approaching. The imagery here clearly is about the temple curtain, where we see on Good Friday that Christ has split the curtain and so now we have access to God, God most high in the Holy of Holies. And the imagery here is that Jesus' body has replaced that curtain. And the reason the curtain was up always, even from um, an ancient Israelite perspective, was to guard us from the wrath of God, to guard us from um, a holy God in whose presence sin could not exist. And so Jesus' body provides both access and also protection from the wrath of God. So it's a wonderful thing, this image that went to the Hebrews. No less is it important to us as followers in the 21st century, where we too can live in freedom and confidence because we are protected because of the work of Jesus from the wrath of God, and yet we have access to his throne of grace. Why don't we pray? Lord, we thank you that we are able to approach your throne of grace confidently and boldly because of Jesus.